Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be doing a fall clean and decorate. I wanna add more subtle fall touches in my home, but first I need to get this space clean. I like to add the subtle yet cozy pieces to my decor to really bring in the fall season. I hope you guys are ready, and if you haven't already seen my previous video where I did a ton of decorating, I will have it in the description box. I am so excited to share this with you, so let's get started. So I actually filmed a huge overhaul on my home where I deep cleaned the entire thing. I had just gotten so tired of all of the clutter and mess everywhere that I honestly couldn't even believe I had left here for so long. I went through the whole house and gave it a good deep clean. I was gonna post that video today, but I decided I wanted to post another fall decorate with me, but yet I needed to clean some of this up. So we are doing the fall clean and decorate. I love doing these videos because it can feel like you are actually cleaning and decorating with me, which is what I love so much about this community. So first things first, I'm going to unload the dishwasher. Now, generally I will have my boys do that when they get home, but if the dishwasher is done, I'll go ahead and do that during the day so we can put any dirty dishes in there right away. I really do try to keep the sink empty as much as possible and it has really helped to keep the kitchen clean and keep the momentum going on keeping our home clean. As I had mentioned before, I had really fallen off the bandwagon when it comes to my cleaning routines and I really couldn't believe that I let so much time go by, but I did. And I feel like I suddenly opened my eyes and I was so overwhelmed and I realized there is no other time but now to get it done. I have been able to maintain that for weeks now and I wanna encourage you, if you also struggle with getting things done in your home, just do it. And I know that's easier said than done. For someone who definitely does struggle to get things done a lot in my home, if you could just do it and then stay on top of it, you will feel so accomplished and so incredibly proud of yourself and your home. So in last week's video, I decorated all of the kitchen, but I decided to add a few more subtle fall touches. Now I continue to say subtle because I'm not doing very bright colors of the season, the oranges and yellows. I personally prefer more of the muted tones in my home. It gives more of a calming effect for me. And so that is what I stick with when all of the seasons. So especially this year with the new home, I wanted to do a lot of pastel and muted pumpkins. When my mom was here this previous weekend, she loved the arrangement in the back there, the pumpkin with the dried faux flowers. She loved it so much and she's having an event and she wanted me to bring it to her. So I am going to be changing some things up once again in this house. If you haven't seen, we did pull out the previous island in here and we added this piece here with this beautiful granite on top. I have really been enjoying it because I feel like it warms up the space, but yet it keeps it very modern. I really can't explain how it feels, but it just feels so right. It's a little bit different than the pantry area and I feel like it gives it a lot of interest to the kitchen. I cannot wait to finish everything. I got some new containers, so I'm gonna put these away and get the space ready for those. I need to go ahead and clean this sink. I'm going to use just regular Dawn dish soap and some baking soda, and it works great. You add a little bit of water and it makes a really great paste. You don't have to get too fancy in it. I really do, do love the pink stuff. I like it better than the scrub daddy paste, in my opinion, but you can just make your own paste and it is incredible. My last house, we had a stainless steel sink and I've always had stainless steel sinks so I was a little worried about getting the white ceramic I think that is what it is or maybe it's porcelain I don't know um, the white farmhouse sink I had seen it I had always wanted it but I didn't think our family could have it I felt like we would just destroy it but let me tell you this thing is ironclad you cannot mess this up it has been so awesome to have, and I think it's probably my favorite sink ever. Um, and it wasn't much more 
for the addition. So if you are gonna be renovating your house, go ahead and get the white sink. I'm telling you, it doesn't get nasty, it doesn't get scratched, and it is so beautiful. So I purchased this just the other day at TJ Maxx. It is a marble serving tray and I love using these for risers around my sink. I always prefer something like glass, a ceramic, or marble around the sink so it doesn't get destroyed with the water. I also was able to find this really precious pumpkin um, hand soap container. This is something I will keep for years and years. You can just refill it as the season comes from year after year. And it was so cute. It jumped out of me and I had to have it. So this is a hand soap container and I went ahead and put my dish soap in this super human um, automatic dispenser. It complements the kitchen accents so well and I love the way it sits next to the sink. Next up, I wanna organize this little area right here. I wanna remove some of the paper holders and I wanted to get a little diffuser um, wall unit to do my oils. Now you can get whatever oils you like. I like the Thieves oil. It just has always had a very fall autumn scent to me. I can smell the clove and the cinnamon. So this is always my go-to all year round. This and Christmas Spirit are by far my favorite of all the oils. Um, I initially got into oils basically because I like my house to smell good and most candles really bother my asthma and allergies. If you have a candle that you love that does not irritate your asthma and or allergies, will you let me know in the comments below because I love the ambiance of candles but I just can't handle it. I actually burned the acorn candle I had in my um, decorating video last week that I put outside I decided to bring it in and put it in the bathroom and light it and I could not handle the smell I didn't even like the smell of the wick that was what was bothering me the most so please leave your suggestions in the comments I would love to know so I've got this container here this is an old threshold container from Target probably a year, two years ago. And I'm gonna use this bundle of hydrangeas I purchased at Home Goods a couple of months ago. Very high end, very pretty, and they were super affordable. I will usually get my florals from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, um, but when I saw this, I know how much hydrangea stems are, especially long stem hydrangeas. So this was a really good deal for $12.99. They had a really good feel and I felt like they looked very realistic. And then I'm gonna use this wood riser, which is actually, I believe, a cutting board from the hearth and hand line that I got many, many years ago. This is probably five years old and I still love it so much. It sticks around, it moves from house to house. So I picked up this really unique shaped pumpkin from at home. Actually, no, excuse me. I picked this up from TJ Maxx and I liked the color of it. Again, it gave that muted feel, but I did not feel like it popped over here. So I'm bringing this really pretty pearlescent blue and gold pumpkin. I had this displayed last week, but everything continues to move because when I start decorating more spaces, I find that one, something in one spot can go in another. I always shop my house first. And even though you may see it on here, that doesn't mean anything is necessarily, necessarily new unless I state otherwise. But I will always shop my home first. When I started fall, uh, thinking of fall decorating, I actually pulled out all of my fall decor before I went and purchased anything and I had nothing literally nothing except for florals so I did pick up a few things and I'm using some of my just normal household items to make this space come together and this is the cutest little banquette on the edge of the counter So I want to clean off the um, refrigerator and the dishwasher because there are so many smudges and fingerprints, which I'm so thankful for the fingerprints, but every so often I would like to have a clean fridge. So I'm using the Sprayway 
stainless steel cleaner and I really like it. I feel like all of their products have been really, really good. So I'm using my microfiber cloth and I'm just gonna clean all of this off really good. We were able to get this counter depth fridge at a massive discount from our friend at the Appliance Plug. Um, they are amazing. So they also have a YouTube channel. Just check them out. I'll put them in my description box, but they are awesome. And we were able to get a scratch and dent refrigerator, which looks incredible in my opinion, for a fraction of the cost. Now it is a counter dip, so we don't have a ton of space on the inside, but it makes this kitchen feel so much larger because it's not sticking out so much. So if you are ever in the market for appliances, do not be scared to go and look at the clearance appliances or the scratch and dent. You will find some treasures back there. And just because they're not quote unquote perfect, they have to discount them and you can get an incredible deal. So we get all of our appliances from the appliance plug. We are good friends with their family. They are genuine, wonderful people. And so they also have a YouTube channel where he just creates all this content to help you fix your appliances without calling a pro, which I think is pretty cool that he does that. So if you need to learn how to fix something or you have questions, you want to check him out. And this is the downstairs bathroom. This is the only bathroom that actually has a full size tub in it. And it's also the guest bathroom. So I wanted to give this a little touch of the season as well. I wasn't sure if I was gonna decorate in here. Again, I didn't have any fall items. So I am being very, very cautious and particular about the things that I purchased. I'm only picking out things that are just grabbing my attention that I feel like I can't live without for this season. And believe it or not, I have not purchased a lot of new items. I've been using just regular home decor and sprucing them up and just little things that have stuck out to me that I decided to get. I also chose to get really versatile items so I know that I can use them season after season. So in here, I'm gonna wipe everything down. I'm just using a Clorox wipe and wiping the top of this countertop down. I plan on giving this bathroom a total makeover and overhaul, but I wanted to focus on other things first before I do that. So wiping the toilet down and like I had mentioned because I had given the house such a deep clean and I have stayed on top of it for several weeks All I have to do now is wipe countertops down and the toilets down and it makes cleaning up for the day So much easier and like I had mentioned before I feel so proud of myself While I was at TJ Maxx, I found this precious frosted acorn glass that was filled with q-tips this was perfect for the bathroom as well as this autumn breeze hand soap now i chose this because a the fragrance fragrance was not too strong i don't like heavy scents and the blue was just absolute a win for me and then the canister that it comes in is an actual glass canister so i knew i could use it time after time i am using this marble tray that i got from i believe at home so many years ago and again just using regular home decor and sprucing it up for the season i encourage you guys to shop your house first go through your bins before you purchase anything use things that you use regularly and add a little fall touch to it that way you're not spending too much money regretting those purchases and you're filling your house up with things that really mean something to you that is what i am trying to focus on this year so i just wanted to send that encouragement to you as well however if you want to splurge and buy all new every year that is you and that is absolutely okay you do what is best with you so i'm going to roll these uh, washcloths here this is just something so small 
and absolutely free that gives this bathroom a really nice spa feeling. It gives it a very clean feeling and I feel like it is very inviting for my guest and mainly my family because that's who's in here more than anybody. Something I will do is when the towels are dry from being used the day before, um, I like to just fold them up. I feel like it looks nicer that way. They're dry, they're clean, so we might as well use them again. And then I've got these washcloths. They are also something I've had for the longest time and I love them. I got them from Home Goods, I believe, and I have been on the hunt to try to find more of them because I love the color and the pattern. So if you ever see them, definitely let me know because I love think they're so cute and they're so absorbent they're great and when I redo this bathroom I think they'll fit in here just perfectly so I purchased this little basket I think for five dollars at the Target dollar spot quite some time ago I'm gonna quit saying that just know that it has been here for a long time unless I specify I don't want to bore y'all with something saying the same thing over and over so I just want to throw that out there So Chris wanted a couch with a recliner. Actually, he just wanted a recliner, but he didn't love the couch and I didn't love the couch that we had previously. So of course, in my fashion, I searched all of yard sale and Facebook marketplace and all of the places for used furniture. And I sold our previous couch and I purchased this one. It really opens up the space in the living room so much. And most of all, he got the recliners that he was looking for. Chris has had multiple surgeries on his feet and he is also an AC contractor. So he's on his feet nonstop. So it was really, really important for him to get something that could recline. So I was happy that I found this and I was really happy that I sold my other couch the same day. So that was a win-win and he loves this so much more. When I decorate my home, I am always thinking about the things that he loves and the things that he would want in our home. I feel like it can be so easy because we're the women and we're the wives that we just decorate the way we want and the men have to handle it. And if that's the way you do it, I'm not judging you one bit. But for me, I find great pride and joy in decorating my home in a way that he feels comfortable and that he loves as well. When he comes home and he tells me that he loves something I've done, it really, really warms my heart. So in this area, because the couch comes at a curve, the previous one was a 90 degree angle, there is some open space here that I don't really like. So I'm using this old wood stool that I got from an antique shop um, in the local town next to us. They have a ton of antiques and this was something that just stood out to me. This bench I purchased from Facebook Marketplace, someone made it to make it look antique. Antique benches like this, I believe they're called Elmwood, are extremely expensive, upwards to four, five, six hundred dollars or more. And I was able to find someone to replicate it for a fraction of the cost. And I love it. It fits perfectly behind this sofa. These are the two pumpkins that I got from the Decor Steals Steal It box. They had a really good selection of items. Now Isabella and Sandra decided to take many of them, which was a good reason or a main reason why I was purchasing it, but I did keep these. I thought I would also show to you that like even if you see a jack-o'-lantern that you love everything about it, but you don't necessarily like the face, 
go ahead and turn that sucker around and you have got two uses out of one pumpkin. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna set it right here on the mantle. I'm not 100% in love with the way the mantle turned out, but it's gonna be a work in progress and we'll see the final way that it'll be. We just don't know yet. But I think these pumpkins are so cute. Decorating has always been a huge passion of mine. Even as a little girl, I would try to decorate my home with the coloring pages I would do for each season. I would tape them in the window and try to show the neighborhood what I was doing. My mom was a single mom, so she did not decorate a lot for seasonal type things except for Christmas. And even then, I was fighting for her to do it as soon as Thanksgiving was over. So I knew that when I had kids, I was gonna make it like top on my priority list. Being able to decorate has helped me really get out my creative side. I love doing creative things and I feel like that the decorating is just a part of that. I also like looking back and seeing how our home feels. It's not just a house, but it's a home and it feels like that. I really want my kids to feel like they have a place that they can come to where they are loved and accepted no matter what they do and um, who they are. And that is why home is so important to me. It's also important that we have a place that we can have as our solitude and our refuge. And that is really um, something I focus on, especially later on in life. The world can be so crazy, but I want my kids to know that this is your home. I mentioned in my last video, and I'll show them to you again, the curtains that I have in the living room are actually custom made. You can get them actually on Amazon, or you can go to the Two Pages website. I have the information. I'll put it in there again. I have it in my last video. They are awesome. They have an awesome measuring guide, and you can get anything that works for your home. So I just wanted to throw that out there. They did gift these to me, full transparency, but I actually already had them in my cart, so I just told them what I wanted. So I am going to add this little flag. It just came into the mail, and this is one of those other things that just makes Chris so happy. He is a huge Florida Gator fan, and even though my front yard looks a little rough right now, we are getting there. I wanted to have this up there for him. So next I'm coming into my bedroom. I went ahead and washed the sheets the night before. I was really disappointed, truthfully, because I had purchased some new sheets from um, HomeSense, and they just don't feel great. My favorite sheets so far are the Cozy Earth, and I accidentally spilled bleach in the garage, and so I used the Cozy Earth fitted sheet to dry it up, and unfortunately, it ate straight through the fabric. So I'm using the new fitted sheet on the bottom, and I'm using the Cozy Earth um, flat sheet on the top because I genuinely love them so incredibly much. Um, I also have a duvet, and they have a great warranty. I did get a little hole in the duvet and they sent me one right away. I did show them and tell them about the hole in the fitted sheet and unfortunately they said that was basically my fault and I, they're not gonna do that. But I understand because that really was my error, I get that. But I have this Lull Comforter and it's incredible and I still stand by their bed and I still stand by their pillows. There are no pillows like the Lull pillows, and Chris's back pain is virtually gone. Actually, I say virtually, but literally, you guys, it's, it's literally gone. So I stand by our Lull mattress and pillows and comforter. Miss Emma is hanging out with me eating her apple while I finish making the bed. And I got this little pillow here. Actually, it's a long lumbar pillow and I loved it. It is perfect for my bedroom and the colors are amazing. I never really loved the other lumbar pillow, so I was happy when I found this. But I made sure to wait to find something that really stood out to me because I didn't want to make the mistake of just buying something to buy something. Luckily, I am able to purchase pillow covers and the other lumbar pillow will be able to be used outside. So that is totally a win in my opinion. I definitely do not buy things anymore just to buy it for content or buy it because I saw somebody else with it 
don't get me wrong. I never purchased anything I didn't like because somebody else had it. Absolutely not. But sometimes you see something on somebody else, like clothes or shoes, and you're thinking, yes, that's going to be so cute. And you get it home, and it's not. So I'm cleaning this off, but I wanted to show you what is on my nails because on Instagram, I was getting some questions about it. I use Madam Glam. Now, I, these are my natural nails, and I do a pink builder gel. You'll have to look into that, a Russian manicure, a Europe, European manicure, and I will do that, build the nail up, and then I use their gel on top. So this is a pudding gel. You can see I've used it and it is incredible. You gotta use a brush and it goes on so beautiful and it self levels, which is incredible. And I like because I have more control with the brush. So I've gotten back to doing my own nails. So builder gel, you can find it all over if you wanna do a tutorial. And then their gel is incredible. I love, that one was called Cinnamon and is so, so me. Um, so I will also have some information about them in my description box. Now I'm going to be keeping a lot of links in there. So if I say something is in my description box, I just want you to know that doesn't necessarily mean that something is sponsored or whatever the case may be. Um, but I just want to let you know that it is down there. Now, as with the curtains, those were gifted, but they, that link will always be in there for you guys to use at your leisure, as well as the Madam Glam. They were gifted, but I accepted the gift because purchase, actually, I just purchased their items way before they even knew who I was. So I was like, sure, you can send me something. I already use your stuff, so I'll have their information as well. But I like to just say that because having your trust is huge for me, absolutely huge. And I want to tell you if something's gifted. I'm also going to tell you if I like something or I don't. Like when I do the Timu, I will tell you right then and there, like, yes, this is awesome. No, this is not going to work. And they know that going in working with me. And I also make that very clear when I work with brands. I will never lie. I will never fudge. I will never bend the truth. I will not do that. And I just want you guys to know you've got my, uh, you've got my word on that. So going to continue on in here again because I have stayed on top of my cleaning routines. It's just coming here and wiping everything down with a Clorox wipe every so often, a couple times a week. It just keeps it really where it needs to be. And But of course, doing makeup and getting dressed in here, it gets messy. So I'm going to clean this area off. And then I'm going to add some bath mats that I got from HomeSense. That's a new store around here. We... Um, the bath mats we had had, they're so thin, and Chris had requested some thicker ones because his feet hurt so bad. So I had gotten some that I thought were really beautiful, and I cannot wait to show them to you. I want to encourage you, if you're having a hard time keeping your house up, it feels cluttered, it feels overwhelming, I get it, I get you, I see you, I cannot relate to you enough, but if you can just put one foot in front of the other and just do a small space, a small room, any something, anything, it really does create momentum and it makes the next step that much easier and then the next step and the next step and I have encouraged you all that if you are in a slump like I had been then play 
your favorite book, an Audible. I love Audible. Play your favorite song, get a playlist, and just clean for the length of a chapter or a couple of you know, paragraphs. Clean for the length of your favorite song. And more times than not, I'm telling you, it's like magic. You will suddenly be so motivated to do more spaces. And when I had finally, it was like, I had said this in my previous video, time in erodes awareness of. The more it sits around, the more we become blind to it. And clutter is like a magnet. It literally attracts more clutter. So, so does mess. And when you have a ton of people in your house or you're just really not where you want to be with your cleaning and your uh, organizing or whatever it may be, it really brings down the mood more than, even more so than the mood that may already be low. So again, if you can just put one step in front of that, one foot in front of the other, just take one step. I want to encourage you. I promise you, you will be so thankful and you will feel so accomplished and feel so proud of yourself. And if you can just stay on top of it a little bit every single day, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. I am a firm believer that the best part of our life starts at home. And if we can start at home with cleaning and doing the things that we need to do, again, having those routines, cleaning up every single day after ourselves, decluttering our home, because clutter can have a huge negative impact on our mental health. Um, organizing your spaces so they're more functional. Doesn't matter if your house is huge or maybe on the smaller side. We can make do with what we have and we gotta be thankful for that. So if you can just really start those steps, you will be so, so incredibly thankful. Um, and I really believe that if you start at home, it will just go into the rest of your life. It'll infiltrate your entire life and you will be so thankful. I am so thankful for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's Clean and Decorate with me. I surely enjoyed having you here. Um, let me know how you're doing in the description, or excuse me, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. I am so thankful for you. I'll never stop saying that. And always know you are loved. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.